What up everybody, it's your boy Dian from Die Hard Productions here back to you guys today with another video and in this video I'm going to be going over a quick review on Go Launcher EX which is preferably the best uh, launcher for Android. It has over 10 million downloads and is uh, rated the number one launcher for Android. So as you can see here, this is the launcher itself. Um, this is currently the default theme. Besides the wallpaper in the background, this is actually the uh, wallpaper from the cartoon te theme which actually has this nice little tree in the background that moves with your moving wallpaper. But uh, here it is, guys. You have your five icon dock here, and your um, uh, app icons are the default. One of the things I like the most about Gold Launcher is that there is a huge variety of themes, uh, thousands and thousands of themes to choose from. You have a lot of cool Go widgets, which are really cool widget, widgets that um, can go side by side with Go Launcher, and there are other themes like Go Locker, which is a lock screen alternative application, which is also available in the Android market. And um, another really cool thing is um, Go Launcher's uh, app drawer or app tray, however you like to call it. Um, when you press open it, you have uh, three little panels up here on the top. You have all recent and running. In all, you can uh, switch between all your apps and uh, all your other applications. If you go to recent, you can uh, check out the uh, apps that you opened or are using recently. You can also clear your history right there. One of the things I like the most is the running tab, which means uh, that you can close any of your applications that you have, which means like you have your own um, uh, task launcher that's embedded into Go Launcher itself. So um, if you click on an application, you can choose to close it immediately. You can either lock the applications, which means uh, to not kill it. If you um, close all programs, you can actually switch to that app or get information on that application itself. So you can uh, close all your programs here. It's really cool. As you can see, I freed up a uh, amount of space here. So um, if you click on the menu button, you do have a lot of um, options to choose from. You can uh, add anything to your home screen. You can choose your wallpaper, your uh, themes. You can go to the Go Store, edit some uh, home screen stuff, go to preferences, go to the Android settings. And if you click on more, you can share your home screen. You can change your um, notifications, give feedback, lock your home screen, or restart Go Launcher itself. So let's go to preference preferences here and let's go to theme settings. You can uh, select in between your themes, set your wallpaper, your desktop icon style here, as you can see. Um, you can also uh, switch between Go Locker, like I said before, that's uh, the Go Launcher's um, lock screen alternative applications. You can also change your dock background, your app drawer background, and more effects like that. Go to your screen settings, you can change between your grid size, your, you can hide or show your status bar, um, like screen transitions and uh, indicators and a lot of other stuff like that. Go to your app drawer, you can change settings in between your app drawer, like your orientation, your grid size, and you can either show your locked apps or disable that. Go to effects, you can uh, switch effects in between uh, moving home screens. You have a lot of different uh, effects here, let me get this in focus here. You have a ton, ton of uh, different um, effects here. Um, yeah, and that's it. You just go to operation here. You can uh, switch in between your screen orientation to um, either enable it or disable it. You can um, decide what happens when you click on your uh, home key or if you slide up. I mean, you yeah, slide up or slide down. Um, you can also back up or restore your home screen and you can get some other information about Go Launcher itself. So let's switch in between the theme here. Um, the themes I'm about to show you are all free, and here they are. They are Blue Neon, the default theme, Cartoon, and Plate theme. And uh, if you go on the Android market for Plate theme, it's actually called Plate 4, which is the fourth version of uh, this uh, theme. And there's all of these other themes that um, I haven't bought, but they, sh they tell you to buy them. And actually, I checked all of these out, and they are all paid applications. They all cost around a dollar or two, so I don't really recommend buying those. Let's go back here. Alright, uh, let's switch to a different theme here, like I said. Alright, let's. we're going to go to the uh, plate theme here. Let's click on that. Click apply. And it does take a couple of seconds to apply the theme itself. And there it is, guys. Um, as you can see, your home screen does change as well as your... Uh, your dock here as well as your app drawer all of your icons and your little bezels and stuff change and um, you can select in between tons of other themes there like I said there are thousands and thousands of te themes to choose from 
Um, yeah, so uh, let's go to another one here. Let's go to Blue Neon. Apply that. I'm going to show you guys a quick preview, and I'm going to finish off this video from there. As you can see, you got your different wallpaper, and you got your icons, which have been changed right there. With your abs right here, everything has been changed, like I said. It's really cool, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this quick little app review of uh, Go Launcher. Um, stick, stay tuned for more videos about themes and stuff about Go Launcher, and I'll show you guys Go Locker and all of the other Go widgets and stuff like that. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe, and show this video to your friends, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.